Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to use Expollinate Bridge. You can use this bridge to send stable coins from one chain to another and the fee is very low. But before we begin, remember that there is a link to our Telegram group in the description, so make sure to join us there. And now, let's start. Why am I showing you Expollinate? Well, first of all, this is an amazing bridge that allows us to send Ethereum and stable coins from one chain to another. So Ethereum is just additional uh, feature, but the main purpose is to send stable coins. So USDC, USDT and DAI. And it works really well because it supports multiple chains such as Ethereum, XDAI, Polygon, Phantom, Moonriver, Arbitrum 1, Avalanche and new chains are being added as we speak. And the fee is really low. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to send uh, USDC maybe from uh, Phantom to Polygon. But of course you can do exactly the same swap to different chains as well. So that's the first reason. And the second reason is that this bridge is uh, being built by Connect and Expolinate doesn't have a token yet. So I believe that there is a high chance that in the future, if Expolinate or Connect will release their own token, maybe this token will be airdropped to those who tested it early on. So this is a great chance uh, for a possible airdrop in the future. So don't miss your chance, test it out and follow my instruction on this video. So that being said, let's move to the next part, which is connecting our wallet. In order to do that, simply click on connect wallet over here. A MetaMask window will pop up. So just choose the wallet you want to connect and then click next and connect the wallet. Once the wallet is connected, of course, you need to uh, change it to the chain that you would like to use. So let's say if you would want to send uh, crypto from Polygon, you would click on Polygon here. Then MetaMask window will show up and it will ask, do you really want to change uh, your network to Polygon or Matic? So you hit switch network. And right now the network was already switched to uh, Polygon from Phantom, as we can see over here. Now, since I'm going to be sending from Phantom first, so I'm going to change it back to Phantom over here and I'm going to switch the network. And once I do this over here, it will change, as you can see, from Polygon to Phantom. Now, over here, we need to choose the network from which we are sending. So Phantom over here and then below, once we click here, we'll see the balances on this network. So as you can see, I have only USDC on Phantom. I don't have anything else. If you have any other currency, it will be visible over here. So I'm just going to click over here and then type in the amount over here. So it will be 131 or we can simply click max and then everything will be automatically selected. Now on the right side, we need to choose to which network are we sending. So I'm going to send to Polygon from Phantom. And then over here, we will see what is the projected amount that we will receive on Polygon. And over here, we'll see total fees. As you can see, total fees is only 0.07 USDC, which is super low. And if we click over here, uh, we can see what fees are we paying. So relayer fee is zero at the moment. Uh, router fee is six cents. This router fee is very interesting because any person, you or anyone else can create a router that will allow people to use this router for sending, for example, from Phantom to Polygon. And every time a transaction is made, the person who created their own router will get this small fee. So if you're looking for an idea to be a validator or create a router, uh, here is your chance because this is a protocol on very early stage. So there is low competition at the moment. Uh, so once we choose the chains and the currencies we want to send, simply click swap. Uh, once we do this, if we didn't approve the token beforehand, because this is our first transaction, there will be an approval uh, transaction visible in MetaMask. So MetaMask will ask if we want to allow Expolinate to spend our USDC. So over here we click confirm. And this is similar as if you use DEX. First you need to approve the token to be used by the DEX and then the second transaction is the actual swap. Yeah. So here it works the same. The first transaction uh, was approval. And now the second transaction will be actually sending it from the Phantom to Polygon chain. So as you can see over here, there is estimated gas fee over here. So let's just click confirm. And once we do this, our transaction is already being sent. And now very important thing, if this transaction fails, for example, here we will see that the transaction failed. Don't worry, as you can see, my transaction is confirmed. But if your would fail, 
Don't worry, just close this window, refresh the page and try again. Yeah, sometimes it fails because this is still in beta version, but in most cases, like 99% cases, this works for me. I had only one failed transaction out of uh, 20 times I used this protocol. And now another important thing. If this takes longer than 5 minutes, you should also refresh the page because maybe just an interface froze or something like this. So for me, the transaction was sent already, there is already 10 confirmations. And now we're waiting for receiver uh, to get my money ready. Of course, it's all automatic, it's all based on a smart contract. And now, as the last part, we just need to sign to claim the transfer. So if you click over here, uh, the MetaMask should uh, pop up, as you can see, and then you can confirm it. However, if you by accident close this window or refresh the page or you lost internet access or whatever else, don't worry, don't panic. Uh, all you need to do, if you somehow close the website, close the browser or whatever else, go back to Xpollinate website, log into your wallet, and once you log into your wallet, once you connect it, you will see your transaction over here in active transactions. So you just click over here and then the claim button will be over here. So don't worry, don't panic if you made a mistake, you didn't click the button that was visible in the center here before. Just click over here, MetaMask window will pop up and we can sign the transaction over here. So let me sign it over here. And as soon as this transaction is confirmed, we can swap to our Polygon or whatever other chain you used. So I'm going to change to Polygon and show you that I have some USDC over there. So I'm on Polygon at the moment. Uh, let me change it here to Polygon. When we are on Polygon, as you can see over here, I have 132 USDC. And also, if I click over here on MetaMask, it should be visible on the list of assets over here. If you don't see this on the list of assets, you can simply click on those three dots and then go to the scan of the network you are currently using. And once you do this, it should be visible over here on the list of tokens. So as you can see, I have 132 USDC. And if we click over here, it will take us to our contract address of this USDC. We can copy the contract address and then simply you can add it to your MetaMask. So simply if you want to add the token, click over here, uh, scroll down, click on import tokens, paste the contract address here. I already have this contract address added and then simply click add custom token. So this is how we can add also to MetaMask and this is how we can transfer stable coins from one chain to another for only few cents. So that's it for today. Please let me know in the comments if you managed to transfer tokens from one chain to another. And remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.